What is it with narcissists and sleep or not letting you sleep? Let's talk about that. My name is Lise Colucci and I'm here to help you understand narcissists and recover and transform your life after narcissists have been in it. Sleep. Are you exhausted? Seriously, are you getting sleep at night? If you're with a narcissistic person, are they allowing you the space to get some sleep? Are they constantly arguing with you right before bed or waking you up in the middle of the night to complain, to argue for sex, for whatever? Are they waking you after you've already been asleep, knowing that you have trouble sleeping? Are they making a lot of noise at night in order to keep you awake? Do they provoke you at bedtime? Do they bring up traumatic things that are going on in the world at bedtime? Anything to get your mind thinking and ruminating all night long. Do they treat you with cruelty all day and then ramp it up at night so that you spend your night ruminating and you spend your night constantly thinking about the horrible things that are going on in your relationship? You know what? Let me know in the comments what ways narcissists have kept you up and not let you sleep and deprived you of the sleep you need in your life? Why are they doing this? Why are they doing this? What is wrong with them? Narcissistic people want to control you. The whole point of everything of why a narcissist does whatever is to have control in the relationship. They want you tired. They want you mentally foggy. They want you moody. They want you grumpy. They want you confused and mostly they want you under their control. If you are all of those things, they can manipulate everything in the relationship. They can say, gosh, you're always in such a bad mood. What is wrong with you? Instead of taking accountability for their own toxic behavior, they can say, you don't remember anything. You're so stupid. You're so this, you're so that because you have brain fog, right? From the, they can say, why are you always late? I mean, why, what's wrong with you in time? Well, you're so tired. You're stumbling over your own feet, right? So they can use all of that to devalue you. And when you're in that state of sleep deprivation, I mean, my goodness, sleep deprivation is used to torture people as a form of torture. So yeah, it works. And the narcissistic person is kind of just tapping into that and using that to control things in the relationship, whatever it is that they need to control in that moment. This, I just wanted to say, if you're going through this, I feel for you. So then what happens is if the narcissist does this enough, you start to not be able to sleep. It becomes habit for you. It can take years. Some people have told me and myself included, I have experienced this. The hardest thing to recover for me was my ability to sleep. A good night's sleep was not a reality. It has taken years. Finally, I can do it, but it it is something that because of the habitualness of sleep and the way sleep is, that it, it becomes a real problem for people even after a toxic person hasn't been there for many years. So finding things to help you with this can be important. If you have gone through this, what has worked for you? Okay, let me know in the comments. Hit the thumbs up as well, you guys. For more on how narcissists behave, check out the videos on this channel and I will be back next time. Take care.